Now, tomorrow, thousands more students in Orange, Lake, Osceola, and Volusia counties return to the classroom after summer vacation class starting at UCF tomorrow as well. And if you need a little help keeping things organized, there are plenty of online tools. Tech expert Hap Aziz joins us with some great top picks. Good to see you again. How you doing, man? I'm doing really well. Good. So, Evernote, you know, I've heard of a couple of these for quite a while. Right. I'm going to be real honest. I'm a pretty tech-savvy guy, I think, and I don't really use them or know how to use them, I don't think. So I'm really interested to hear, especially Evernote. I hear a lot about it. Well, Evernote is great because it allows you to keep notes on your device, and everybody usually carries a phone with them or has a tablet, an iPad, but it allows you to sync your notes across devices, your phone, your tablet, your, your desktop computer, like here. Wirelessly, or, or is it only when you sync wired? No, it's wirelessly. Okay. So that, that you can be anywhere to do this. So, so it's great because you can jot down notes, but you can also keep calendar events, reminders, you basically, you on, on one side of the screen, this is the desktop interface, you can see that I've got a number of different notes having to do with meetings, my wedding anniversary, I do a diagram, you can take pictures, this is a great thing. You could be in a store and you want to take a picture of something that you might want to keep because you want to buy it later, show somebody, right. do all sorts of things. And so you would take that picture with your phone and it would automatically go to everywhere that you have Evernote? That's correct. That's pretty That's cool. Right. I loaded this on my phone last night and you can see it's here in the studio today. All right. So let's go next, Dropbox. Now, in the television world, we use Dropbox to exchange mm -hmm. uh, videos and pictures with people right. like that, but you can do a lot more than that, right? Right. In the, in the education world, it's great because students can collaborate if they're working on group projects. They can drag files from their own computer so, to another computer. I'm glad you say that because earlier I created a test document, which is right, right, right here. You can see Dropbox test. Mm -hmm. Now I can take that and drag it right up here to Dropbox. Box, That's correct. And it's going to appear over here in Dropbox as well, right? Well, actually, what you can do, you can do that. Okay. But you can actually go and I've lost the file where you had it. Put it up in Drop. Yeah, yeah, did you have I it? Had, no, I had it in Dropbox. Okay. So we go back yeah, there. Dropbox oh, there we go. test. So you can actually drag it right across, and I can. I and can, you can put it in any one of the files the file, that right. you've already. Okay. So let's open that, and there it is, Dropbox yep. test, right there. Mm -hmm. So you can just drag and drop, and it, and then, and then you can give people access to that too. That's right? correct. Teachers can use it to create assignments for students and they can go get their materials. Students, of course, can share and parents can actually see what students are posting for their homework or if they're keeping their notes nicely organized. It's Pretty a very cool. good tool. Pretty cool stuff. All right, now, next up you have, what is this, Khan Academy? Khan Academy. This is a start screen right now. So Khan Academy, think of it as a YouTube for education Nothing material. Nothing to do with Star Trek. <laughs> that's right, <laughs> that's right. So uh, it's, it has all sorts of videos on a variety of topics. Okay. This is the start screen to set up uh, if you want to set it up for a parent and child. Is there anything down here below? Actually, where we'll go is we'll go right up to just to this icon here. Okay. And then what happens is this is my screen. So you can see featured content. You can get to a variety of subjects and topics. And you'll see right here, home. Let me go home. I'm in home. You can set up the profile badges. What Khan Academy allows you to do is to search various subjects, history, science, math, you name the subject, you can find it. You will get videos on the subject, but beyond watching the videos, you'll actually be able to uh, track what you've done, get badges for your progress, okay. get points, and get unlocked levels. It's almost like playing a game. Okay, another one we want check people to check out is My Study Life. And I know we're not going to have time to go through this one because right. I know that you wanted to mention a couple other resources right. that you want people to go to. What right. are those? Okay, there's one, is an or there are two organizations. One is IST which is the International uh, Standards, International Society for Technology and Education, ISTE, I-S-T-E dot org. It allows educators, parents, interested parties to understand how to use technology for effective learning. Very quickly, what's the other one? And it's IMSglobal.org. It IMS allows you, global. yes, it allows you to okay. understand how to use technology uh, and standards across technology. Yes. Great to see you as always. Right. All right, let's talk about the weather now and get over to Brooks. Everybody